So, in, shall we introduce uh, Centre Denmark for you? Um, and uh, actually, I was very inspired by all the presentations, but uh, I will uh, uh, highlight the presentation from, uh, from Benjamin, Mr. Benjamin from Memorial, where he actually presented a lot of the good things that we will establish in Centre Denmark. Uh, I'm a bit behind on the good animations and the videos, but uh, he's uh, there all with me. Um, to keep it short, I'm not going too deep into this, but this slide uh, is actually uh, telling the why uh, we are establishing Sensor Denmark. And you know this paradigm shift in, in, in shifting from controlling the production side in, uh, over to controlling the consumption side. So that's actually uh, the why. And to do that, we will establish a national data platform, uh, add a layer of artificial intelligence so that we on real-time basis can identify the flexibilities and uh, utilize these. So that is a uh, quick introduction to the why uh, the, uh, we have established such a Denmark. And uh, uh, actually we have all the good associations, industry associations, uh, supporting the agenda of, uh, of such national data platform uh, and sector coupling across electricity, uh, district heating, gas and water supply. Uh, this uh, slide is showing uh, a, a, a bit from a report from the Danish Energy uh, Association where they have carefully made an analysis of what additional capacity we need in the Danish electricity grid if we will implement all these electricity, uh, electric vehicles. Uh, and we can do it uh, the, the expensive way, that is the brown uh, dotted line, and we can do it the smart way, where we are doing a lot of peak shading, uh, and that, that would be the red lines, and uh, the delta in, in between would be the, the savings in, uh, in adding capacity to the grid. To the uh, so they are supporting this at the end of the Denmark. The Danish uh, Association for District Heating it's also uh, just uh, published this uh, report for, uh, for making a modern regulation of the district heating, where they point out that we need to inter integrate uh, with the other uh, energy systems, and we need to increasingly electrify uh, our district heating in, the, in Denmark. And uh, very relevant to today's uh, seminar, the Danish uh, Construction Association, Association also support this agenda. Uh, uh, they state, start seeing the buildings that we have in the, uh, Denmark as an integrated part of the energy systems. There are so much uh, flexibility uh, we can uh, get out of the building. And here we must uh, remember that 65% of the buildings in Denmark, uh, in Denmark are actually constructed before 1980. So this is not only looking on establishing new residential areas, it's also retrofitting into uh, existing buildings. So they support the agenda. And we have a, also, this is uh, from the previous uh, government in Denmark that established this uh, deployment mix team, the uh, growth team for green transition. And this is a long list of uh, ex executives in the Danish industry uh, working in the team and uh, published this report with 10 recommendations on how to uh, get growth uh, in the industry uh, during the green transition. And uh, basically you can uh, see the themes below, uh, uh, I apologize this is in Danish, but we, we need to get better access to data, that is the, that is the first one. Uh, we get, uh, need better frameworks for testing and demonstrating in uh, scalable and representative uh, frameworks. And we need to support startups and generate foster new innovation. Uh, and we need to go global and we need to follow up on this. So that is actually a great support and uh, all of these uh, support the agenda in Centre Denmark. So what is Centre Denmark? Central Denmark is established as a national initiative. It's a national center for research, test demonstration and education within data intelligence and data integrated systems, focusing on the demand side across these uh, all sectors. And it's very important to emphasize that Central Denmark is established in a fund structure, so it's an independent organization. It's not owned by the founding partners. It's uh, fully independent, 
and it's fully uh, non-profit. Uh, so it's, uh, that's, uh, that's very uh, important to emphasize, very much like the national labs that we see in, uh, in the US. And founding partners the, uh, is uh, the Danish DSO, Evi, uh, where the uh, chairman in the board is uh, Lars Gunnar Bjørn, uh, the CEO of Evi. Uh, in the Guinness, the Danish TSO, uh, where we have uh, Søren uh, uh, Dupont, uh, CEO of electricity systems in the Guinness. Uh, we have uh, an in, uh, investor, uh, Thorsten Invest in the group, and then we have the four uh, technical universities in Denmark joining together uh, on this agenda. And it's um, Professor uh, Henrik Madsen is uh, Vice Dean, so kind of, and it's uh, Jakob Stavstrup, Vice Dean in Aalborg University, and then it's uh, Dean uh, Henrik Wimstil from South uh, Danish University. So this is a very strong and this is a very uh, committed uh, board of directors that we have in Central Denmark. And the question is that Central Denmark can push this, uh, this move and, and support and accelerate the green transition from what uh, approximately 50% renewable energy that we have in our system today towards the 100%. Uh, and it will be done through digitalization and sector coupling. So the mission for me uh, is now to establish this national data platform, and I will quickly show it, uh, show it to you afterwards, and also make it as a foundation for a, a framework and for research uh, and testing demonstration for representative and scalable tests. So that's the missions. And the actual offerings I come to you with is that we will, since Denmark will offer real-time decision tools, maybe on historic data, maybe on, uh, but also on uh, real-time data, but the tools will actually be on, have real-time capabilities. The next thing is that um, we need new ideas for business model on how do we these models stimulate the uh, behavior that we need to have in, across the energy systems. And uh, none of us can uh, figure this out ourselves. Uh, so we need startups, we need universities, TSO, DSOs, uh, NGOs, and so on, joining together in, a, in an incubator environment uh, and come up with all these new ideas for, the, for business models. To, uh, to uh, support that, we will make a simulation environment. We are doing a, an ident identification of the entire ecosystem right now, so on time we will be able actually to simulate new business models, new uh, uh, tariffs and uh, taxes, and how that will uh, impact on the ecosystem. And uh, last, we will set up real-life test environment, both on existing building, but also on future uh, residential areas. How do they look like with peer-to-peer -peer networks, uh, centralized and decentralized storage and uh, energy production, and how do they interface with the greater uh, energy system? All of these things are, are being worked on right now. So quickly look into the, the IT uh, architecture. Uh, the Central Denmark architecture will be an integrator of a lot of uh, data clouds. Uh, so all data will not be captured and stored at the uh, Central Denmark cloud, but the, uh, it will be an integrator of all of these, I call it low level clouds. And from that, we can generate a very well-trained artificial and general intelligence. And that's the whole purpose of this, it is, to, it is to get as large amount of data as possible so that we can train the algorithms. And this is how we imagine our uh, simulation and visualization cockpit uh, to look like. And I love the animation that you uh, showed us, uh, Mr. Benjamin, uh, where you can zoom in on different levels in the energy system. Uh, but this is how far we have we, we got uh, until now. Uh, from 1st of November, we are moving into this building where we are starting kicking off the uh, incubator uh, with a lot of uh, universities, all the good companies, uh, the innovation fund, and so on. A lot of good partners are moving in here to generate the, uh, the ideas for future business models. 
We have already now very good uh, project, uh, projects ongoing. We have uh, this crystal energy Denmark project that is, we can say, a, a continuation of, of, of uh, a lot of the good results you have done in the CDS project. Uh, I'm not uh, dig, uh, too deep into it uh, now, just say that, uh, that this is a, a last uh, research project that we are we have just kicked off this, uh, this year. And this is uh, this is on the electricity system, and here we have it on the on the district heating system, and uh, both projects uh, using Central Denmark 